what what is going on here guys all right so i'm installing this new rear rotor all right i bought this a while ago off of amazon i don't quite remember who i bought it from man but this thing there's something wrong with it look at the holes in the rotor man where you put the bolts through yeah they're not even round guys how how does it how do you do that right you're supposed to use like a drill or something right I guess I could drill it out and make it round again, but what the hell? I shouldn't have to do that. All right, two of the... One, two, three, four, five... Two of the six, all right? Two of the six are not, not properly drilled. What the heck? It uh, uh, makes me wonder, is this thing even round, you know? Ah, oh, man, I'm telling you. What the heck, dude? I've had this for a minute, too, so I can't return it. So, so yeah. I'm putting a bad review in for it. <laughs> I'll put a bad review in for him. This is what I'm going to do. And a bad video review. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, look at this. Yeah. Yeah. Right? See? Four of them are round. Two of them are not. They're like kind of weird shaped. How does it happen, dude? That's a good question. It looks like the holes don't even line up properly, man. Eh, well, I guess they do. Yeah, I guess the holes do line up. Alright, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to drill these out until they're round. Or, I'll, or you know what I could do is just get the Dremel tool and use a die grounder and make it round. Because I, I don't even think you could get a drill bit in there straight, man. <laughs> It'll mess it up or something. It'll mess up the drill bit or the, or the, um, the rotor, one of the two. I mean, I guess four out of six is not bad, I guess. It's like, but that's that's horrible, man. Anyway, I will put the link in the description where I bought this from on Amazon. You know, Hazemake is not a big fan of the rear brake. You know, I don't really use it all that much, you know, to tell you the truth, because I have regen. But I'm, I may be getting rid of my regen throttle, so, yeah, might not need it anymore. So, I mean, I, might, I may need to use the rear brake again, so <laughs> that's what I'm going to say. So yeah, at least it came with the bolts, right? But yeah, I've had a lot of problems with the rear brakes on this bike, man. Um, I've had the one, I had the um, the caliper fail on it, so I had to buy a new one. I bought a Magura one, so I wouldn't have any more problems with it, you know. Um, the Soron stuff just sucks, man. I'm telling you. And then and then there's this. It's just, you know, it looks exactly like a stock rotor. I have a stock rotor right here. Where is it? Right here. There's a stock one right here. This one is bent though, also. But yeah, this is it's cut the exact same way. It's it's, it's just the right one, except the the there's the holes aren't drilled right on it, man. What the heck? I checked it. I checked to see if it was flat too. I've been having problems with these rotors getting bent. You know, um, I bought a set of Supermoto wheels. Uh, yeah, the ones with the slicks on it. All right, at least the front the the front wheel, and the rotor that came with it, it was bent when I got it. All right, but uh, I'm not gonna blame Soron for it because that was a used one, so it may have got damaged during shipping or something. So yeah, be careful with these rotors; they're really fragile, guys. Um, but but yeah, I did check it with the ruler, and and it was flat. All right, it's it, at least it's at least it's straight. So. Okay, I'm going to just open up those holes so I can put the freaking bolts in there. <laughs> it's freaking stupid, man. Why do I have to do this? Should have been an easy install, man. And then we'll have to spin it up to see if it's straight, you know. Um, yeah, it could be like, you know, wobbly and shit, so. Alright, but, I mean, it's flat at least, but that's all it's got going for it right now. And it's got uh, two of the... It's got four out of the six holes drilled into it properly. <laughs> All right, guys. Uh, anyway, the link in the description where I bought this. All right. Maybe you might not want to buy from them. I'm not sure. I will I will be sure and put a, a not-so-good review on it on their thing, you know. All right. Let's big out. All right, guys. It's a one-star review. All right. So I, I tried to grind the holes round with the Dremel tool. It turns out that these uh, the holes drilled in this uh, rotor aren't even like the right pattern and everything. It's 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 off, all right. So I can get three of the bolts in there, all right. I haven't put them in all the way, but if you look at the other one, so this is the one that's messed up. This is the one that I fixed, all right, and it's still off. 
it's gotta go it's actually got to be grinded that it's got yeah i have to grind it that way i actually grinded it the wrong way but but this is where that the half circle thing was so that's the only way to make it round right this is off this is not round and this is like off when i fixed it so i mean you could definitely tell you'd need to grind that to make it round all right it would be like oval shaped if i kept on going that way so yeah i'm not going to install this rotor mm -mm. there's a there's a you know there's a limit to the quality all right that hayes mega will put on this bike <laughs> and that's not it right there also i want to point out that this uh this rotor is made out of stainless steel it's very hard so i messed up two bits trying to grind that out all right and I, i'm not i'm not even going to bother to try to clean clean up that other hole because i know the the holes don't line up i was looking at it like how come the holes don't light up like yeah man it's garbage dude i don't i don't know well anyway i'm going to give them a one star review because nothing was good about this <laughs> it's useless if i can't install it and it's a it's also like a safety thing too so all right to further prove a point how shoddy this uh is all right so this is a stock Suron rotor all right it also has some kind of writings on it and it has an arrow to to tell you which which is the right direction this has nothing like that there's no markings at all on it all right but the the pattern the way the the rotor is built it's like it's a knockoff of the Suron Suron rotor is what it is this one the holes line up all right I put this one is bent though, so I can't use it. This one doesn't line up. See, these two holes don't line up. All right, the ones that I, the ones that I drilled, uh, the ones that I had to. This is the one that I've tried to fix. All right, and then this is the one that like it's all messed up. All right, and when I line up the other ones, these ones line up. These ones line up, but these don't. All right, they're way off. So I would just not use that, man. That's not. A, I think it's supposed to go this way too. Yeah, it's actually supposed to go this way. Okay, but if you rotate it, some of them do line up. You know, it's kind of weird. Yeah, all bad. Well, that's off. Yeah, it's they're all off. The, all the holes are off, guys. <laughs> Cuz when I put this one on here, all the holes line up properly. See? That's what you want. You want the holes to line up properly, guys, or else you can't they won't fit, right? Or it'll be it'll be like weird and lopsided. So, yeah, it's just too bad I can't use this one because it's bent, man. Dang it. Um, they bend so easily. All right. Well, I guess this is just garbage now. What a waste though. I guess the only thing I got out of it was the bolts, but maybe the bolts aren't good either. I don't know, man. All right. Mm.